Hello everyone, and welcome back to Children's Liturgy of the Word. I'm Henry Tinkup, and this is my brother, Van Allis Tinkup. We're celebrating the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Before we read the Gospel, let's think about what it means to have a name. What does a name mean? Sometimes you can Google names and learn what they mean. My full name is Joseph Henry Tinkup, and I was named after my great-grandfather, Joseph Henry Tinkup, and my great-great-grandfather, Henry Tinkup. You can see him in the photos. My full name is Van Allis Tinkup, and I was named after my grandmother, named Carly Van, and my great-grandfather, who is named Allis. Here are all, are all the photos of them. We are named after family members, and it helps us understand where we come from. Sometimes people get names besides their given names because of something they do or something they like. For example, I'm a Boy Scout who also loves creating things with Legos. And I love animals. And I also love to play basketball and soccer. You might know us from, from the things that we, uh, that we like to do. You might be called a slugger because you are a good hitter on your ball team. Or you might be called a brainiac because you get super good grades. Do you know where your name comes from? Your parents named you. They gave you your name. Were you named after a family member or a friend or a saint? If you don't know, ask your parents. We've heard many names for Jesus, like the Good Shepherd, the Light of the World, the Savior, Messiah, Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, Holy Lord, the Lamb of God, the Way, the Alpha and the Omega, the King of the Jews, or the King of Kings. Which name helps the world to know Jesus? Which name do you like? In today's Gospel story, Jesus asks the disciples what others call him. Then he asks the disciples what they call him. Let's listen to what they say. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. May the Lord be in my mind, in my lips, and in my heart. A reading from Matthew 16, 13 through 20. When Jesus went into the region of Cassiarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon the son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Messiah. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The disciples told Jesus that others called him John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, or another prophet. But Peter said, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. You and I are followers of Jesus. When we share the good news, we are like disciples, like Peter was. When we help people around us know that Jesus Christ is the living son of God, we help build up the church. Each time we share our love of God, we build up God's family on earth. So as we go about our daily life and do ordinary things, let's remember to share God's love and let's use the name of Jesus with great respect and love. Don't be afraid to use his name and call out for him. Let's end with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.